You can tell who the real experts are on YouTube because they're all high above us. They're all perched confidently high atop Mount Stupid. Today, I'm going to talk about the many rumors flying all over the interweb about how to fix the new Boofwang UV5R radios. As you probably know, the new Boofwang UV5R radios are locked and can only transmit on ham radio frequencies because a few years ago, the FCC sent them a very mean letter. So now, all of the new Boofwang UV5Rs that come out of the child labor slave camps in China since about April 2021 can no longer transmit on GMRS or FRS frequencies. Now some people, some people, will be very quick, very quick to point out that transmitting on GMRS frequencies using a UV5R, even if you have a GMRS license, would break the law. And that is not true. However, transmitting on a Boofwang UV5R on GMRS frequencies, even if you have a GMRS license, would violate the FCC rules and regulations. Rules and regulations, not laws. But many people like to keep a UV5R around for communications concerning the immediate safety of life or protection of property, which, according to the FCC, is permitted. So, just as one might expect, many of the YouTube experts have made the long, arduous journey down from high atop their perch on Mount Stupid to leave comments all over the interwebs and on YouTube videos like mine and many others, pointing out how easy it is to fix the new Boofwang UV5Rs so that you can once again transmit on GMRS frequencies. So is it true? Is it easy to fix your new post-2021 UV5R so that you can once again transmit on GMRS frequencies? I'm not going to string it out and make you watch the whole video to get the answer like so many other YouTubers would do. I wouldn't do that because I respect you. As a viewer, the answer is no. At least, not the way I've seen it posted online so far. If that's all you cared about, if you just wanted that quick answer, you're done. You are dismissed. However, if you want more details, if you want to actually enrich your life and learn something, keep watching. What the experts have come all the way down from atop Mount Stupid to tell us, what they have been saying is all you need to do to fix a new UV5R to make it transmit on GMRS, all you need to do is get an old UV5R that is programmed for GMRS frequencies, like one of the half a dozen or so that I have behind me there that I use for monitoring only. Take one of those old UV5Rs with those frequencies programmed in them, download that profile into the free Chirp software, then connect your new UV5R to your computer and clone that previous profile from the old working UV5R into the new locked UV5R. You would then be able to transmit, or so the experts say, using your new UV5R on GMRS frequencies for emergency use concerning the immediate safety of life or protection of property, according to the FCC. So using the dozens of dollars that I have collected from supporting members, those are the members that clicked the join button below to support my channel. Using those monies, I bought this new Boofwang UV5R to test what the experts say. I do it so that you don't have to. So I very eagerly downloaded the profile from one of my old Boofwang UV5Rs that do have GMRS frequencies programmed into them, and then uploaded that profile into my new Boofwang UV5R. And as you can see, it still will not transmit on 462575, which is the GMRS equivalent of channel 16, the official GMRS off-roading channel. It will not transmit on GMRS channel 16 or any other of the GMRS frequencies. It is effectively still locked. So does this mean that it's impossible to unlock one of the new Boofwang UV5R radios so that you can transmit on GMRS frequencies? 
or emergency communications concerning the immediate safety of life or protection of property? No. It just means that it cannot be done this way, at least not on my new Bufwang UV-5R. If you have any questions about what you've just witnessed, or if you know how to unlock a new Bufwang UV-5R so that it can transmit on GMRS frequencies, for communications concerning the immediate safety of life or protection of property, leave a comment below.